Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're talking about Revelations chapter 6, the four horses that come that uh, are revealed when the Lamb opens up the seven-sealed book. The first four seals, we see four horses. As we talked about yesterday, the first horse was a white horse. And we believe this represents the Antichrist coming, bringing peace to the world. Even today in our world, as the news unfolds before our very eyes, like never before, we can see within seconds news happening anywhere in the world and the atrocities, atrocities that are taking place right now in Ukraine. And uh, we see decapitated bodies and dead bodies lying in the street and hear of the ravages of war and uh, the cruelness and the evilness of man. Our minds just, just revolt at the thought and the world is wanting peace. And the United Nations is working hard, but they have failed so many times. But one day, I'm telling you, after the rapture takes place, there will be a man, as the scripture teaches, who will show up. He'll make a covenant with Israel. The seven-year period tribulation will start, and he will bring peace to the world, or at least he will promise it. And, uh, and the world will follow him and believe his lies. He is the Antichrist. He's the imitation of Christ. Even Jesus spoke about how that many Antichrists will come, but there's one who will come and he'll commit the abomination of desolation. Now, we see this in Revelation chapter 6. And so the first two verses, the first seal is opened by the Lamb and the white horse appears. And we believe he's got a bow, but he doesn't have arrows. In other words, he comes in a powerful way and he brings peace. And then three, when he opened the second seal, I saw the second living creature saying, Come and see. And another horse, fiery red, went out. And it was granted to him who sat on it to take take peace from the earth and that people should kill one another and that and there was given to him a great sword and when he had opened the third seal i heard the third living creature say come and see so i looked and behold a black horse and he who sat on him had a pair of scales in his hands and i heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius and do not harm the oil and the wine and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, saying, Come and see. And so I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was Death. And Hades followed with him, and power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with the sword, and with hunger, and with death, and by the beast of the earth. And so we see the next uh, horse that comes is a horse that is fiery red. Antichrist conquest begins in peace, but he soon exchanged the empty bow for a sword we see here in verse 3 and 4. The color red is often associated with terror and death. The red dragon in Revelation 12, 3. The red beast in Revelation 17, 3. It is a picture of wanton bloodshed, even as we're seeing today in the streets of Ukraine. Wars always been a part, it appears, of man's experience in Cain killed Abel. And so this image would speak to every believer in every age, reminding them that God is ultimately in control of all things that are happening on the earth. Now, the Lord is not responsible for the lawless deeds of men. The scripture says in Romans chapter 1 that he gives men over unto their own lust, over to their own deeds. In other words, when we deny God and do not uh, follow him as our creator and acknowledge him as the God of all the earth, and we reject his son, Jesus Christ, and the word, the word that he's given us, I'm telling you, my friend, he turns us over to ourselves, and then we have to live with the consequences of evil being let loose in the earth around us. Now, God is in control of all the events setting up for the end time, but he's not responsible for the evil deeds of men as they choose to cause harm to people all around them. And so we see this next horse is a fiery red horse, we believe representing bloodshed, war, and the Antichrist halfway through. The tribulation will break his peace treaty with Israel and he'll get out his sword and there'll be bloodshed like never before. And so we'll be talking about that in the next weeks. Well, God bless you and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.